have to find a piece of string or some wire or zip tie or something and right here that on this bucket, on this cage. Alright? And I can pull that off and it will reach, I think. Or I can put a spout right here on the end. some of these wire cutters that'll follow you around as you go. all the way to the top okay but if you're going to have does they're going to start learning how to use this watering system and they're going to have to be able to reach it otherwise as the doe starts to wean them off of the, the, the milk if they don't get any water they'll dry up and blow away because they ain't they're going to have something to drink. now Layla he ain't he's nice He, he will grab he will grab your pants and try to twist. To anyway, that'll reach there. Now what I need is a piece to go from here. It's gonna go on the T. Uh... 
You got kids trying to drink on this one over here. <laughs> you got kids over here trying to drink. suspend bigger heavier containers or I may, I may just add two buckets onto the system and may split it put another bucket up here and feed all this and then let the other bucket feed all of them but for right now I've only got one bucket and until it's hot like we're talking late June July and August hot this will be just fine okay so only step we got left is to Hook it up to the bucket and supply water, so we'll get that situated and we'll come back to you. Alright folks, we got everything together. Filling this bucket up. Now what I did was, I just real simple like, I shot some drywall screws into the wall up there, hung the bale or the handle of the bucket up there on those screws. And I used some of that orange bailing twine, just like this right here, and I tied it around there to help keep that handle from sliding off of it as we fill it. But this is going to pull straight down, and that bucket should not come off of there at all. And basically, since this is not right above the cage, it's just a simple matter. They don't be too short. I can reach up here and I can feel it. She'll be too short, but all she's got to do is she's filling this up. Fill this up, run the water in there, and you can see just as soon as it starts to tip over the top of that bucket, throw the hose down, walk over, and turn the water off. But you can see the water's already deep enough in the bucket; it's starting to it's starting to kind of trickle down. Now it's kind of muddy over here. I'd ask Dana to come hold the hose, and I'd show you. And I'd show you one important step for this but I'll get this bucket full and then I'll show you anytime anytime that you need there ain't nothing to it really but anytime that you let this uh, system run completely dry of water when you fill it back up so that they can get a drink again right away you need to bleed the air out and it's a real simple thing to do nothing to it and, uh, and I'll show you how to do that also put some bailing twine right there and right there on the corner of the cage just to help hold that up. I need to put one more right there in the center of that doorway. Go on. Shut up. Go on. You too. I'm tired of hearing you. Go on. I'm talking here. You shut up. Anyway, now that's all settled. Hey, did you get that?
bowl. They've got a big bowl in there. They were getting water out of it, but I noticed that they had spilled it. So it might have been an hour or so since they had a drink. So they're all going to flock to it. But if you keep this system full and you top it off every day and you don't let it go completely empty, each rabbit will just come up to the spigot when it wants a drink. It'll get a drink and it'll move away and then, you know. But oh, you'll have uh, rabbits laying on it? If you if you run completely empty, if you let it run completely empty, it's going to, then you'll have to purge this air out of it again when you fill the bucket back up. But if you let it run completely empty and they go a little while without water, right at the first, you're going to have every rabbit on the system flocking to it trying to get a drink. And a lot of times they will purge a lot of the air out. But you still have to make sure, especially like over there where Annabelle's cage is, nobody's in there. Nobody's going to be trying to drink out of that for a few days. So, you got to walk over there, get your little plunger, let the air out. Because you don't let the air out of that one, when these guys drink or that one over there, or uh, Jasmine drinks, it's going to kind of, it's kind of, it's going to kind of pull air from there. And it just kind of, it all just works better if you get all the air out. See, they know what that's for. They know how to use it. They will get a drink. As, as they get a drink and back away, it'll give room for the other one. This doesn't mean that they're not going to all be able to get a drink. Okay, they're going to they're gonna get their drinks and then as one gets enough water, it's going to move away and then the others can get up there and, and drink a little bit. But this is what I'm telling you. You know, we're going to keep an eye on it. And this is because they were completely out of water. But now you keep it full and you make it so that they've got water constantly all day every day and you don't have them crowding it like that. Okay. I probably should have filled that bowl up first, but I figured shoot I'll show you. Now these guys, when they were over here in the cage with their mamas, they learned how to use these. This is what they learned on this what this is the first thing they drink out of or drink water out of once they started getting these young young ladies and what have you that haven't used it before well rabbits are very curious okay rabbits are very curious okay we're gonna take this old nasty thing out of here okay I don't uh, I like these I like giving them just a pan full of water better than I do the water bottle simply because they can get more water but unfortunately, I don't like it because it doesn't, the water doesn't stay as clean. The container doesn't stay as clean. Um, and, you know, ideally you dump all these out every day and put fresh water in them. But when you've got 30 or 40 rabbits or, or more to do that from, especially if you've got a Just set it on top because if that freezes. If you've got a full-time job on top of it, uh, on top of that and everything else, you don't always have time to dump all these out and fill them back up. But, how do you teach a rabbit how to use it? It's simple. You let them get thirsty. Okay? See that? You got just a little bit of water. What rabbits can, rabbits are like any other animal. They can smell water. When she gets thirsty, she's going to come over here and investigate. And she's going to notice that that's got a little water on the end of it. And she's going to try to lick the water off. And then she's going to move that little plunger and she's going to say, she's going to realize, hey, if I lick that little plunger, water's going to come into my mouth and I can get a drink. Rabbits are a lot smarter than people take them credit for, give them credit for. And it don't take them long to learn either. You just got to, the trick is, like I said, you got to get them thirsty. when you're taking rabbits in and out until I get that move there's a chance I can pull that loose from something and you pull one of these hoses off anywhere and it's going to drip 
water's going to run out of it until that bucket goes empty. When that bucket goes empty, everybody on that system, all 10 cages, it, nobody gets any water. Okay? Right now, we can catch it and correct it and all will be fine. In July, you, you could have some dead rabbits doing that. So you've got to be on your toes and you've got to watch this stuff. Okay? Over time, these rabbits, these, these nipples, we've replaced a bunch of them. That's why I bought a hundred and I only needed about 20 when I bought them. Uh, we, see how that shoots out of there? Over time, I don't know if it's rust or what it is, but something slowly makes it to where that little opening in there, that little valve, something gets in there and kind of restricts the water movement over time. And even though you're supposed to, it comes with an Allen wrench and you're supposed to be able to pull that little plastic thing out of there and clean it and put it back together. You know, what they don't tell you is, is this old cheap steel or pot metal or whatever it is, it rusts and corrodes in there. And if you try to turn that with the Allen wrench, the Allen wrench is just gonna spin inside it. And I even went, it comes with a little plastic Allen wrench to do it with. Okay, I've even tried to use a metal one and I just ended up breaking that little plastic piece in there. And if you break that little plastic piece in there, this nipple is going to drip continuously. Kind of kind of like that, like, kind of like that right there. And yeah, you won't have a, you won't get a five, buck, five gallon bucket to last you all day that way for sure. But uh, got this tied up out of the doorway. You know, this doorway here, I've got a duck down like this to go through it, but then it can walk through there flat footed. Unless I'm wearing the boots. You're still good. Anyway, it's all dry. It's good, no leaks. Uh, if you have leaks, you need to address those because you have a slow leak, there's a little bit. You know, you know how it is. Okay, you know, this little spigot on this bucket is a little bit different than these on the teeth. Probably need to take a zip tie, put on there, and pull that up nice and tight. But other than that, we seem to be in good shape. If I look back over here, these guys over here, they've already been able to get water out of the bucket that's sitting up here on top of the tree. Okay. There, I just checked the blueberry. And with the water pressure, no higher than that bucket is, it's dropping from about there down to about there. And I can push that little spigot. And it'll shoot water inside the cage about that far. Let me see here. But you also gotta make sure you ain't got a rabbit laying on it and draining your bucket too. Yeah, you have that. Bianca. You can have that. Do that. Yeah. See how far that shoots out? And that's what? Not even two feet. Well, it might be from here to up there. It might be a couple feet far. The higher you mount your bucket or your holding container, the more pressure you're gonna have and the, more, the bigger mouthful of water that rabbit can get whenever they mash that plunger down. Okay? Uh, don't got any questions? Like always, feel free to contact me. Uh, all of these rascals are ready for summer. I do have to have, go and do a little fine touch, in here, uh, touch up here. I need, to, I need to retie that one and move it over so this one will be out of the way of the door right here. And uh, maybe probably tie some of these others up. Take a piece of baling wire if you need to, and make a little standoff. Just make a loop, and then a, and then a little crook like that, and hold it. Make it where it'll hold that out like away from the cage. If you have rabbits who try to stick their nose through here and grab a hold of that, and try to hold it. Uh, I haven't had that problem yet, but I have had a rabbit in the past when I had when I was working with the rabbits and I'd leave their cage door open. They'd stick their head out the cage door, reach down here. Like, like Witters is down there at the bottom of the cage door, reach out there and bite it and chew a hole in that hose and I'd have to replace that second hose. You know, rabbits are chewers, what are you going to do? You know. Alright, folks, I think this is going pretty well covered. I hope the wind hasn't been horribly bad. I know I've filmed a couple of videos this week that uh, I think were pretty good videos, other than they had a few spots here and there that had uh, some pretty, 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 pretty tough wind noise. I hope you will forgive me. Hope you will forgive the stupid piece in the background. I'll be glad when we eat it. Uh, anyway, hope this helps somebody. Y'all have a great day. God bless. You.